Okay, so now the official teaser trailer for Jurassic World Chaos Theory has been released. Um, I'm sure that many of you caught it, but I did release a kind of a breakdown of that trailer um, in a in a previous video. That video has been copyright claimed, um, so it's no longer available. Uh, so I figured I'd go ahead and kind of do a new, new video on the trailer, uh, but I want to do things a little bit differently. I just kind of want to talk about this show as a whole and, you know, some things that we hope to see from this show. But of course, I'll give a basic breakdown beginning off. If you don't know anything about the show, um, well, first of all, the trailer has been released if you want to check that out. But this show will be kind of a continuation of Camp Cretaceous. Um, if you don't know, Camp Cretaceous kind of ended off where Fallen Kingdom ended off with dinosaurs on the mainland. So kind of ended in 2018. This show will be taking place closer to the Dominion timeline. Uh, so, you know, those years in between then. And we will be following Darius as our main character, who was one of the leads in Camp Cretaceous. The trailer showcases some shots of Darius, firmly establishing him as the lead, as well as some shots of the very famous Rexy, presumably taking place during the prologue where she's kind of terrorizing the drive-in movie theater and things like that. This either takes place before or after that uh, little moment in time. One thing I want to point out is that I really like the cinematography used here. I think she looks really cool with all of this kind of like backlight, especially with the headlights from the from the vehicles and the sparks. I think that the animation does look pretty good, all things considered. I know that, you know, there's not a lot of fans of the animation from Camp Cretaceous, but I do think that it looks pretty good here. But moving on from the trailer, there are some things that I want to talk about this show as a whole. Now, I've mentioned before that I hope that this show does kind of tackle, you know, the what Fallen Kingdom set up, and that that is dinosaurs in the real world. I want to see its effects on environments, especially, as well as like the governments and things like that. I want to see how humanity has to respond to something like this. This show does seem like the perfect opportunity to do that. And because it's titled Chaos Theory, you know, something that was firmly established in the first film. It feels like that is something that they will be, you know, tackling. But, of course, when it comes to the Jurassic franchise, the biggest stars, or, you know, some of the biggest stars are definitely the dinosaurs. What dinosaurs are going to show up in this? You know, with Camp Cretaceous, we did get, we did get some new dinosaurs added to the canon, such as dinosaurs like Monolophosaurus and Oranosaurus. So we could probably expect that this show will introduce some brand new dinosaurs. Now, of course, you know, some, some favorites will return like Rexy. We already got that established. We don't know how much she will show up, but, you know, we can bet that she'll be in this. Now, frequent commenter Colton Todd had mentioned that there has been kind of a a rumored or leaked toy line for Chaos Theory that has a few different dinosaurs. Um, these could be an indicator of what kind of dinosaurs will show up, and they're pretty exciting, all things considered. I will mention that the same thing kind of happened for Camp Cretaceous, where certain dinosaurs will show up in the, the Camp Cretaceous toy line, and then they would eventually show up in, in the show. Like, in Season 1, the toy line had already been releasing toys, and we had gotten some Baryonyx toys, but their, Baryonyx wasn't in Season 1. It wasn't until Season 2 that we finally saw the Baryonyx. Same with Spinosaurus and other such dinosaurs. So we could probably assume that the dinosaurs that show up in the Chaos Theory toy line will likely show up in the show. And that's pretty exciting because, once again, these are some exciting ones. We have Pachyrhinosaurus, Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Atrociraptor, Beckel Spinax. That is not one I am familiar with, but it sounds interesting. And Suchomimus. Now, these are some pretty fun uh, additions, two of which I really want to talk about are the Suchomimus and the Pachyrhinosaurus, mainly because both of these guys have made an appearance in Jurassic World Evolution um, with pretty decent designs overall. Like, I especially really like the Suchomimus design. However, I do not think that these designs will be carried over into the show. They've already established that just because it shows up in some shape or form in the canon doesn't mean that's how it's going to show up in, uh, you know, in the movies and or the shows. And I think for the for the most part, the reason for that is because these are designed by Frontier, whereas you know the movies and shows kind of are doing their own thing. They're all, there's all these kind of like different little corners. You know, the Oranosaurus looked quite a bit different in the in the game than it did in Camp Cretaceous. The same can definitely be said about the Giganotosaurus. So I think that we can assume that this beautiful design here won't be showing up in uh, Chaos Theory, assuming Suchomimus does show up. I am actually incredibly excited if it 
it does, because Suchomimus is an incredibly cool dinosaur, a Spinosaurid, of course, um, and one that doesn't necessarily get as much attention as its very famous cousin, the Spinosaurus. I'm also extremely excited to see Pachyrhinosaurus if it does show up, because Pachyrhinosaurus is uh, one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. Um, it's a Ceratopsian dinosaur, one that is incredibly unique because instead of having, uh, you know, really horns on its face, it has a boss. That's something that is just a really cool distinguishing feature that the animal has. Um, I, of course, I hope that they don't give it a horn because I know that there's sometimes a tendency in media to do that. Like, look no further than Jurassic Fight Club. You know, it doesn't have a boss, it has a horn. It doesn't even look like Pachyrhinosaurus. It's a little bit annoying. Again, I don't think that it would be the same design as Jurassic World Evolution. I think that they would definitely take a different route. I just hope that they really do the animal justice, again, if it does show up in this show. The other dinosaurs are ones that we have already seen, except for Spinax, which I can't... I don't really know much about other than the fact that it is a theropod dinosaur. Very cool to have something like that because, of course, it's extremely obscure. And I'm a huge fan with introducing uh, new dinosaurs to the public because, you know, that's just... That's just fun to me, especially if it's something that I don't know, because then then I get to join in on the fun of like, what the heck is that thing, you know? But the other ones in question, that being Allosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Atrociraptor, um, you know, those are dinosaurs that we've been established with. They're also a dinosaurs, funnily enough. I wonder if the Ankylosaurus will simply be Bumpy, or if Bumpy will show up at all. Probably not. She seems pretty happy on her island. The Allosaurus would probably be the Battle at Big Rock design, and the Atrociraptor, I'm sure, will remain pretty consistent. Atrociraptor is not really a design that I particularly liked, but I'm sure that it has its fans, and if it shows up, that would be cool. Now, I sincerely hope that we get a lot of dinosaurs in this show, and once again, I hope that we get to see their effects on the real world. Because, you know, I, I really like Battle at Big Rock. I really like the um, uh, the Dino Tracker website. I think that those are perfect uh, little things to help establish the effect that some uh, such a big change like this is having on the world. And if we get to see a show and have a narrative that's surrounding that, I feel like that would be a huge step in the correct direction. Um, you know, it, I think that would be really fun. I've mentioned before that I think that this show does have a lot of potential. I hope that's true. This teaser trailer is extremely exciting, even though it doesn't give us too much in the way of information. But be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts on this show. Are you excited for it? Are you indifferent to it? Are you kind of cautious about it? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, of course. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and have an awesome day.